What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and today's video my fellow agents is going to be a quick one. I wanted to take a few moments, go over some details about recalibrating exotics and hopefully help you avoid making a really, really brutal mistake. Now, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. And we are having a giveaway for a PlayStation 5 to enter. All you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter, and the winner will be announced December 31st of this year. Now, this happens to be something I have talked about at the channel before, but with so many new and returning players jumping back into the game with Year 5 Season 2 and the return of incursions, I felt now is the perfect time to make an updated video. So first of all, anytime you go to reconfigure you're an exotic, you want to make sure you have enough resources to do so multiple times. I will explain why in a moment. And secondly, only the recent exotic weapons that have been added to the game give you the ability to get that random bonus as your third attribute. So we're talking about the Sacrament Perium, St. Elmo's Engine, Ouroboros, and the Iron Lung. And the main reason I bring this up is because I am getting messages from players asking if they can get that random bonus attribute on other exotics as well. The answer is no as of my recording this video. And obviously, if anything changes, I promise to bring you an update right away. Now, when it comes to reconfiguring any exotic in the game, and obviously today we're focused Focusing on weapons, but this holds true for any other exotic. You need to remember one important detail, and that is when you reconfigure something. You are not crafting an additional exotic, you are destroying the one you currently have and making a brand new one, and of course I'm going to show you an example really quick. Now I'm using my Ouroboros, because I do want you to see the entire process on screen, and I actually happen to love this version of the weapon, but this is the perfect one to show you. So first of all, you can see I have SMG damage, crit hit chance, and damage to targets out of cover. It is that expert level 5 and when I hit the craft button the game warns me like hey dummy you know what this is marked as a favorite are you sure you want to reconfigure this thing and typically my answer would be no but for the purposes of this video my answer is yes now you will see when I craft this that third attribute is going to be something completely different you can see there at swap speed so if you happen to reconfigure something and you do not get the one you want you are going to need to reconfigure it until you finally get the one you're looking for now in this case I got very very lucky on my second attempt I did get a decent roll to draw drop and I wind up keeping it so I'm thankful for that. I didn't have to burn through a bunch of resources so my recommendation is simple before you go to reconfigure anything in the game. Make sure you have the ability to do so multiple times because to be very clear you may get something good or you may get something that's worse than the one you have so you want to make sure you always keep that in mind. Now that is going to take us to the most important aspect of this video and that is to make sure the first thing you do once you get a version you like is go to your inventory, mark it as a favorite because if you don't you could accidentally deconstruct it that is the reason I'm putting this video together I have unfortunately heard from so many people out there who have accidentally deconstructed something they didn't mean to and if you do not have a certain exotic in your inventory you cannot reconfigure it which means you have to refarm for that item all over again which completely and totally sucks you want to obviously avoid needing to do that now one thing I'd like to point out really quick and this is for those of you out there who had no idea you could get a random attribute on those new exotic weapons you'll notice that even with my new version it is still at expertise level 5 you do not lose your expertise I sincerely hope this video helps you out and as always questions comments or feedback please let me know on that note my fellow agents I want to thank you all for your incredible support of this channel I got a race out the door the family and I are actually going to the 49 at Tampa Bay game go Niners I sincerely appreciate the privilege of your time and as I mentioned at the end of every one of these if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well but most importantly take care of yourselves be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon thanks again everyone